Well, I guess that's a good enough place to go ahead and get started here. We are back with the Nature's Beauty mod pack here, and we're taking a moment to get ourselves straightened out, get uh, things that are in our inventory put away, and and we're about to go back down and continue searching for those diamonds. We have been unable to find as of yet. Let's just get some things here. We're definitely gonna need some more torches there. So let's see what we got as far as, okay, there's some coal. And we got some sticks on us yet. <coughs> so we can go ahead and plug these together. Get ourselves plenty of torches for the trip. Uh, let's see here. We got a shovel, got an axe, got a pick and two extras. Our sword is halfway used, so... You mail me 81. Welcome back to the stream, my friend. We're going to go ahead and grab another sword to take on down with us. We have our water bucket. We got some extra wood if needed. Let me actually grab that other stack of coal that we got just in case. And I think that's all we're going to need for this trip. Yep, that sounds good. So we got torture, uh, well, we might need some more food. What do we got food-wise? We have two carrots there, oh. 40 cooked pork chops, okay, that'll work. We'll take those, and so let's go ahead and head back on down into our mine. Let's see if we can not continue to find something down here. And hopefully we'll be able to come across those diamonds that we're searching for we were already down here in last episode and that reminds me I have to apologize to everybody for the last episode for half an hour after we started this the twitch screen froze so even though on my screen it looked okay the twitch screen it wasn't we were streaming, but nothing was being shown. So we are terribly sorry for that. Oh, there's nothing down here. Well, that's disappointing. Let's see if we can't get back on up there. So what do we have up this way? See, this originally scared me. All this cobblestone, this scared me a bit because usually when you see cobblestone underneath and deep inside mountains and whatnot or hills the uh usually means there's a dungeon close by but i guess in this mob pack that's not what we have here and you tried to watch that one i'm sorry man i am sorry i did not didn't realize that was happening, wasn't paying close enough attention. Go to download it to put it up on YouTube, and next thing I know, it's just one frozen screen. Mr. Creeper, I don't like you. Yeah, yeah, stay, stay stuck right there. Nope, 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 no. Ah, oh. try to get away. I'm just getting rid of these spider webs. So I don't want to get caught up in them while I'm down here. And lava is always a good sign. I wonder what that is over there. We'll take a look in a second, but for right now, I did see some coal sitting over here. Which we're always glad to take the coal right now because we don't have very much of it. Partly why we're down here caving. But yes, this stream is, or Nature's uh, Beauty here stream is going to be a stream only, and then we will upload it to YouTube afterwards. A bone pile. Wonder what is involved with that. 
We'll take a glance at that in a second. Let me just get this coal real quick. And we'll see what that's all about. That's a new one for me. Have yet to come across anything called Bone Pile yet. We came across the copper, found out we can't duplicate that in the Fulvus like we could in the, uh, like we could with iron and gold. Alright, so. Did that just give me cobblestone? Just cobblestone is all I get for that. Maybe I'm using the wrong pick. Maybe I need a uh, diamond pick for that. We'll find out. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get this lava to something more steppable. Wow, that came way far out of there. And look at the steam coming up. See? I'm loving this mod pack. Ross and I did a great job putting this one together. All right. No, oh, we got some stuff up there. Okay, let's get up there. Let's just make ourselves a little staircase here. Let's go down a little bit. What do we have here? A glow cap. Tried to get one of those before. We weren't able to pick that up. Which was kind of disappointing. Mr. Creeper, I see you over there, my friend. And apparently you see me. All right. Well, now we're only down to two arrows left. Don't like seeing that, but we did see... A whole bunch of gravel down there. So we're gonna see if we can't get some of that gravel. Or get some uh get some flint out of that gravel. We can use that to make some uh more arrows and even a flint and steel, because we may end up going to the nether tonight. All depending on how far we get, because we need those diamonds before we can do that. We need to get the obsidian. In order to mine obsidian, we need a diamond pickaxe. But we'll do what we can. We're going to try. We will indeed try. Now this copper... Oh, this is iron here. But the copper ore... I'm not quite sure what we can do with that yet. We're going to have to take a look... See what it shows in in the uh, just enough items as far as what's available. We'll get to that in a little bit here. In the meantime, iron is definitely going to be needed, especially if we're going to try to make an iron backpack or just a backpack in general. But oh, and there's some lovely diamonds. Oh, I love seeing those down there. I'll get to those in just a second here. I want to make sure to secure this area first before we go any further. Because you never know what's around. And, and that looks rather interesting up there. Alright, we gotta go check that out. I don't know what's going on over there, but we gotta go check that out. See, this copper, I'm not quite sure what we can do with this yet. But we will take a look and see what we can do in a little bit here. Let's go down this way first. I feel like this might be a dead end. And yep, this is indeed a dead end. Good. We'll just grab up this coal real quick. And then we'll go ahead and continue on the upper area here. Ooh, coal and iron. Love seeing that. Now, generally, I would try to put the Chroma Hills uh, texture pack, resource pack, on top of this. But with how beautiful this area is looking already, it's still a little blocky, but 
and more of a uh, 32-bit graphic than anything else, it's still looking pretty good. That's how it's set up. And let's not forget the gold. Wasn't there something in the ceiling? Yep, there was some in the ceiling too. Okay. I thought I saw some more. There we go. All right, now we wanted to go upwards. We were there, so we want to come up here. And come this way. Oh, I just saw some more uh, coal over there. So we'll have to go back and take a look at that. This is coming up to the same area, huh? See, and that's got me a little worried. I don't know what the... I want to say that's lava up there, but I'm not sure. Okay, so we're going to put some torches. Ooh, emeralds too. Whoa, that's a witch. <laughs> Did not not like seeing that guy there. All right, let's see what we can do with this guy. Can we take him out before he takes us out? Oh, yeah, there we go. Surprisingly not a problem. All right, these are emeralds, right? Yep, these are indeed emeralds. Let's go ahead and grab those up before something else comes by to get us. Now... I do want to secure this place more, but that's not where I want that, on that side. At the same time, we got to get back to those diamonds. And in all actuality, that might be going to the same place as those diamonds, but all right, let's go get the diamonds real quick. Okay, that is glow, more glow cap. <clears throat> we tried to pick up that glow cap once before. We weren't able to. All right, so we have a skeleton over there. Is it down there that we saw the diamonds? Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. I believe it was over this way. No, it was not over this way. Must have been down this way. Yeah, there they are. Oh, and we have a creeper, and we don't have any more arrows to go along with them. All right, how far up here can you get, Mr. Creeper? Well, now, now, not get ahead of ourselves, Creeper. You can even get close enough to me to start exploding. Looks like they're pretty limited on how close to me they can get. Looks like he's gonna get right there, so. Yep, we tried. <laughs> Weren't so successful. Okay. So now I got some more things we can work with. Try and get. Hey, get back here, buddy. That's right. Why don't you stick around for a moment? Let me go ahead and smack you around a little bit. There you go. Thanks, man. All right, now let's get down here. Let's see about. Ooh, that gravel can fall at any moment. Gotta light this place up a little bit. We got a whole lot of different kinds of ores down here. I am loving this right now. We just want to light it up. Try and get so nothing spawns. All right, now what do we got here? We got, okay, this is just regular redstone. Always good to find. Okay, diamonds, how many of there are you? I hope there's more than just three. Oh, there's only three. All right. Yep, only three. And yet we don't have a fortune pickaxe yet. Well, we don't even have a enchanting table yet. But that's going to be the first thing we're making is an enchanting table with those diamonds. Granted, it would be nice to make a 
diamond pickaxe, but at the moment, the enchanting table is probably going to be the more important thing. Try to get those enchantments uh, on these pickaxes. Try to get fortune. Try to get efficiency and whatnot. Maybe even chant up some of our armor. We are at almost 30 levels here. So that's going to be definitely more helpful than a diamond pickaxe at the moment. As much as I may want that obsidian. They travel off to the nether. Well, granted, I do hate the nether for the most part, but... The uh, enchanting table is more important right now. We're going to keep on going and see if we can't find some more diamonds before the rest of our picks wear out. We got the one we're working with now, and I believe just one more. Yep, just one more. And we'll see what we can do with these two picks. See if we can't find any more diamonds, and we're going to go investigate that little area we saw. Because that really intrigued me. We got lots of ores here. Lots of different kinds of ores. We have iron. We have coal. We had redstone. We had diamonds. I think we may, may have even had some copper down here. But okay, I think that's it for in here at the moment. I don't see another path to take outside of here, so... Hey, let me use up the shovel real quick. Let's grab all this, see if we can't find ourselves some flint. Oh, I did miss some ores though. Let's get let's get that copper real quick. Takes just a little bit longer to mine, but we'll see what we can do with it. Might be able to make some fancier weapons or something. Now let's see if we can't get that. There we go. Come on down. Give me a please, give me a couple pieces of flint if you don't mind. Yep, there we go. We got a couple pieces. All right. And I swear I heard a mob, but I don't see one anywhere. All right, we'll go ahead and just take that for now and let's get back here and Back up this way <clears throat> Like we said want to go investigate that lava flow over there that looks really interesting Want to check it out and see what it's all about Of course we can't skip on the uh, Coal here. Gotta grab that stuff too. How's our inventory looking? Oh, we still got some empty space here. Now, I probably should not come over here having, <laughs> seeing as I got diamonds in my inventory, but this is too interesting not to pat, not to take a look. And we got some stuff down here, anyways. We got some more iron. Maybe we'll find some more diamonds this way. There's some redstone over there. Let's get this out of here. Oh boy. See, the new ambient sounds is making me think that there's a mob close by. Oh, I guess there was another way out of there. And we got lots of iron, lots of copper. In a dead end. Don't mind the dead ends too much. Makes things a little bit more, makes things a little easier for us. Nope. Like I said, the copper takes a little bit longer to get, so I'm constantly taking my hand off a bit before I'm done with it. But I don't know what improvements we're gonna make to the house today. We'll have to see what's there. I know definitely one we gotta do is we gotta get ourselves some sugarcane planted. But there's more. Okay, yeah, there was more. 
Gotta get ourselves some sugarcane planted so we can start making the books for the bookcases. Actually, we can probably just steal the books from the, the village that we're by. I, I know they won't mind. They never mind when I come by to visit, do they? Never. They love it when I'm there. Well, it looks like we got quite a bit up here. I can grab all this real quick. Then we're gonna head straight over that lava flow. <clears throat> Hopefully there'll be something good over there. Never know, I might actually find a dungeon over there. I did see some cobblestone around there. Throw that torch in there. Yeah, we'll throw that torch in there. We got torches going all the way that way. That's where one area was. We got to come back and explore that. There's got to be some good stuff there. Got to be. Whoa, hello. Thanks, Mr. Creeper. Uh, that's not where I want that. There we go. And we gotta be careful not to fall down there. That'd be bad. All right. Well, that lava flow, that's where we're heading. Oh, that just worried the heck out of me. I was about to fall all the way down to that lava. <laughs> Thought there was floor beneath me. I was like, okay, no problem. Yeah, no. No floor beneath me. And so in this area somewhere was that skeleton. I don't know if he's still here or not. He may have despawned or fallen to the lava himself, but... He was here. Alright, so this looks to be just a glitched out lava pool. But, uh, wait a minute. No way. Can't be. Oh, it can't be. It could be. Let's see if we can figure out a way up there. Probably this way. And I don't want to touch that too much. And, and what is that? That looks like a gold block. That's interesting. But this could be a fortress. down here but now I'm thinking it's a spawner since I just heard that zombie I think it was a zombie just burned himself to death in that lava we'll go see I see I think I'm thinking this is a fortress down here because I'm seeing those blocks that are fortressy fortress like Mr. Skeleton, if you want to shoot me, you gotta get closer up here. Come here, buddy. There you go. Did you give me some arrows? Yeah, we got two arrows again. All right. Better than nothing. We'll take it. In the meantime, we want to keep trying to make our way up here not quite sure how far up to go but gonna keep working our way because this might be really cool and 
Yeah, let's probably throw a torch down there too. All right. Yeah, I see you there, buddy. Come here. Come here. I can't reach you. Hey, buddy. There you go. Nope, that's definitely a spawner. Well, there is definitely a spawner there. I don't know if there's also... Yeah, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Go, 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 go. Because it could also be a fortress. Where you normally use the ender eyes to try and find. Well, let's do this right quick. Oh, they still had a way up here. Okay. Trying to block them off. Oh, come on, guys. Come on down. Hopefully not too much farther. I would like to survive this, at least. Oh, 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 oh. Not good, not good, not good. We're getting towards a dead end. Okay, we're alive for now. And there's still another zombie coming. Here he comes. We gotta start finding our way back here. All right. Now let's see if we can't find our way back to where we just were. Yep, good. I didn't want to put down enough water anyways. We wanted to eat. All right. Uh, I believe there. There we go. Put this stuff here to try and protect me. Eh, it didn't work so well. They still got up over there. Oh, hello, Mr. Zombie Villager. Why don't you stay down there? No, no, stay down there. There we go. Okay, good. So let's get back up there. Because I want to know what's going on here. I have a feeling it's just going to be a spawner. But it would be really cool if part of this Okay, yep. Let's get this lit up. Well, there's some bookcases. Hey, more bread. We'll take it. Ooh, and our diamond. I'll definitely take that. Blast protection. Blast protection and protection? I have yet... That must be part of this mob pack to be able to put those together. Oh, I'll actually hold on to that. Oh, we don't need the dirt, so we'll take a shovel from there. I thought we already had some bones, but I guess not. <coughs> hmm. <clears throat> Sorry, with that, a little parched in the mouth at the moment. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and take the gravel with us, and we'll drop that cobblestone for the apple. Don't need the spider eye so much. Okay, so I guess it's not a fortress. Although it's the tile of a fortress, what they would put in a fortress. Nah, it's not. Okay, books we definitely want to take, because we want to make bookcases, so let's drop... What can we drop? We drop the rotten flesh for now. We don't necessarily need those coming along with us. And those bookcases are going to be.
kind of hard to get. Well, those last ones there. Uh, let's see what we can do about that. That'll definitely help us out a bit when it comes to it. Okay. Let's go ahead and break those apart. And let's go get those. Hey, thanks. Yep, and that was a block of gold there. Alright, let's see if we can get that somehow. Need to get... I know I can place that one. Okay, so let me knock this out. And now, let's see if we can't get one a little bit lower. There we go. Nope, that's not where I wanted it. Get that out of there. I want to go the one below that to the side. I can't. I can do that. Just give me a step down there. Okay, there we go. Now I can do that. That doesn't really help all that much. Alright, now I need to make sure to have room in my inventory for it, so let's drop the bones. And we're just dropping stuff right in front of us. Eh, that's not gonna work. Drop it into the fire. Let the fire burn it. Alright. There we go. Good. So let's grab that, please. Thank you. Get me out of here before I burn. I'm very susceptible to burning. Not good. And not quite sure what's down there. So for right now, let's bridge over this way. Let's see what we find. There's a couple of torches here and there. Just to get things lit up a bit. And okay, so now we're on the other side. So that probably goes back down to the area where we were. Or it goes to nothing. Okay, see on that one we got some bones out of it. So I guess there's a chance of getting bones out of them. Anything of interest? Doesn't look like it. That's another spawner down there. I can see it. Can we zoom in on it? Yep, there it is. That's a spider spawner. But let's get over there and see if we can't do anything about that. Oh, there's a couple of them already here waiting for me. Get out of here, buddy. Yep, I see you right there. Okay. Eh, put a torch down and run. <laughs> right, you dropped down there. Yeah, I don't know how you're hitting me from down there, but you are. Okay. Oh, there is no chest in here. Spawner room without a chest. That is just cheap. That's just a cheap shot. Oh, that's not fair at all. Now, I know I'm skipping a whole bunch of stuff right now, so... Let's go ahead and head back. 
Let's get back up, st up to our uh, little house. Alright, that's the spawner I've already seen. Let's get back up to the house and see what we can do with this copper. Make ourselves an enchanting table. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds like a plan. Let's do that. Because this is a bit dangerous. Right now. Well, of course it's dangerous, but... We came from here. We're over this way. Oh, we do have a torch there. Okay, good. Ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> that lot of that was me like, ah, don't fall. Um, no, I do want to get down there. I want to see if there's any diamonds down there. Because it looks like the perfect area where diamonds could be. So we're just going to check it out. Well, there's a Skelebob. Hey, buddy. Come on, get up back up here. Get yourself wrecked. And get some food for me. Alright, so as I was saying, this down here looks like it could be the perfect area for diamonds. Oh. Oh, we're right on top of that wonderful lava pool. Okay. But still. This looks really nice for diamonds. Okay. I wasn't sure what that was over there. Oh, look at that drop. Let's try to avoid that. Alright, just take a quick gander here. And unfortunately I don't see any visible diamonds. See that though? Is that another spawning area? Whoa, that's not a spawning area, that's lava. <laughs> oh, we're underneath the lava. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> now let's go this way a little bit. See if we can't. Yep, yeah, we can come back around. So that's good. All right, that doesn't look like anything. So, yeah, okay. Well, we've been that way, apparently. Yeah, 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 okay. Well, can we... We can get a little bit of that yet. There's still a little bit more room in our inventory. We might as well go ahead and grab these while we can. Just a bit of iron. All right, let's get back up top. Up top. So follow the torches on the left is going to lead us out. At least they're supposed to. <laughs> Provided we torched correctly. Torches on the left will lead us out. So, yep, right up this way. This is that cobblestone area that freaked us out before. What? Oh. <laughs> Why can't I jump? No, oh, because there's a block above me. All right. And just curiosity here.
What do we got? More iron is always good. Except we're gonna run out of inventory space. All right, what can we get rid of? Let's um, that nah, limestone. We don't need that. All right. Let's not explore too much here. Iron ore is good to pick up because we already just started getting that. But anything else right now is going to be a no-no to pick up. We really don't have space for it. Well, we got space for the copper, but that's really it. Hey, look at that, copper. <laughs> what was I just talking about? And there it is. Okay, we'll grab that stuff. Might as well, right? We're here. We got it. Let's get it. I'm still torn about the diamonds. I really want to make a diamond pickaxe, but I know that the enchanting table is going to be more important. At least for right now. I was really hoping that that was a fortress back there. That would have been interesting find right off the bat. Well, not right off the bat, but it would have been an interesting find there. We uh, find a uh, <coughs> excuse me, find an end portal before finding a, or before building a uh, another portal. It would have been interesting. There's a little bit more copper. I'm going to skip that for right now. As, oh, I thought it would be a dead end, but it's not. Holy cow, lots and lots of coal. Wish I had a map to check, so we'll come back. We will come back. Well, possibly we'll come back. Or anything up this way other than just marble staircasing might be worth it to come up here though never know what you can find and I don't know how far up we are But we could be high enough to find uh, a way out, or we could just find dead end. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and continue working our way around. Back to our exit, back to home. And let's get using uh, yeah, not very much. All right. So down this way, and... Not there. That's the way I went. Yep, those torches on the right. We want torches on the left. Is this it right here? Oh, yeah, this is it right here. Okay. I gotta make that more obvious to myself, because otherwise I'm gonna probably miss that every time. Because I'm gonna be real good at missing that. Missing that marking that that's our exit. Oh, and I just realized we can't make an enchanting tin. Oh no, we do have some obsidian. Never mind. Okay, so let's use the pulvis first with our speed upgrade. Actually, can we make the other upgrades for that yet? Let's see. These are the at furnace. Okay, so at 
F U R N U S. Okay. Well, that's a speed upgrade. E decrease fuel consumption. Can we do that one yet? No, because that requires glowstone and nether quartz, and we don't have any of that yet. Okay, the IO upgrade, we don't want to worry about too much. Slot automation, well, that requires diamonds, and we don't want to do that. Additional XP would be nice, but we don't have the slime balls. And we don't have the uh, blaze rods. And although we, nope, we don't have the glowstone either, because although we could do the energy upgrade eventually, I don't think there's any energy things in this mod pack. But we don't have to worry about that. So let's start with the gold. And the copper we can take straight to the furnace. Oh, that's nice. They each handled two stacks of fuel. That's wonderful. Then we're gonna put all of our fuel in there. <laughs> we don't have any more. All right, so right now we're doubling our gold, smelting our copper, and that we can break down. All right, so give me that and Let's get that little bit of iron in there. Let's take this down to gold bars. Gotta wait on that. But while we're waiting for that, drop off this cobblestone. Gravel. Okay, that's it there. Here we have some precious metals. We'll put some of that stuff. Oh, we do have more fuel in here. Oh, let's, you know, <coughs> you know, we gotta get this stuff arranged a little bit. I think it's time for us to upgrade to storage drawers. Just one of my favorite mod packs. this makes things a whole lot easier to do with the basic drawers and whatnot so what we need for a basic drawer a chest and six planks all right now let me get this stuff going grab that that's still going okay so do we have any chests? I don't think we do. None there, none there. Nope, we don't have any chests. Okay, so we gotta make some chests and actually eat real quick. I can take those torches out of my offhand. Even though it's a little, it seems a little dark over here, it's actually not. It's just the way the shader pack works. Although, you know, I still probably want to put those torches. I want to move these torches around a little bit. Let's go there instead of there. Just to give us a little bit more light. That one up there is fine. There we go. That should give us a bit more light to work with. Yeah, that's a little bit better. All right, since that copper's almost done, we'll wait for, well, we gotta make some, yeah. Okay, we got enough here. Let's go ahead and grab these and let's make these spruce logs into some chests. Like so, and then we'll grab another stack of spruce there, and we'll make those chests into some basic drawers. Nope, oh, I messed that up. Try that again. All the way across that way, and all the way across that way. Okay, good. 
So now we have some basic drawers of the spruce variety. Let's go ahead and put these right here around the window. And so now we can take things like our cobblestone. Let's put those in there. Let's take our gravel and let's put that in there. Let's take our oak wood. <clears throat> we'll add those. So we got lots of stuff here. Cigarette went out on us. All right, so back to the furnace. Let's get that copper. Let's throw in the gold. Yeah, it's getting closer to being done. All right, so what else can we throw in here that we have? Well, dirt. Dirt's always a good one to throw in there. And so give me all of these, because since we made that drawer, we can just throw them all in there. Just like so, all of them are gone. And it looks like nighttime out there. So let's go ahead and take a bit of a rest. All right, that's better. Yep, here we go. More cobblestone, more gravel, more dirt. Sand is always going to be a good one to throw in there. So cobblestone, gravel, dirt. Where'd that sand go? There's that sand. I'll throw that right about the dirt. Or, yeah, that was dirt. So more gravel, more cobblestone, more oak wood, and that's it from there. Nope, not by accident. And do we have anything in here to throw up there in the drawers? I don't think so. Except we may end up starting to put the slate in there. Alright, so let's see here. Gravel, cobblestone. Oh, and the oakwood planks. Okay. So, is this done yet? Nope, 18 more to go. So, while we wait for that, let's see about our enchanting table, because we do have some obsidian here. So, I believe it's four pieces of obsidian, like so, two diamonds. And a book on top. Indeed it is. So there's the enchanting table. Now we kind of need a place to put this. So let's move our bed out of here. Let's put our enchanting table down right there. The bed. Well, I guess we'll put that down right here. Right underneath the window. Okay, so the enchanting table needs bookcases. Let me grab a stack of the oak wood there, and let's make ourselves some bookcases. Looks like only eight right now. And I got nowhere in my inventory to put them. No, oh, yeah, I do. All right, let's put that oak wood back. <laughs> Actually, grabbed an additional stack of that oak wood. That's what happened there. All right, so this gold should be done. Let's throw that in our box over here. <clears throat> Let's get that started on some iron. We can add more to it once it's done. Oh, forgot this thing doubles. Every one piece of ore becomes two dust. And every piece of dust becomes an ingot. All right, so there's that. That pulvis is done for now. We'll let this run. But now bookcases, let's put those down. Now we need to fit a total of 15 over here. All right, now well, we ran out there. Actually, dude, I don't think we've found any lapis yet, have we?
no, no lapis yet. So even if we wanted to enchant, we can't. Oh, no, that's not good. So we are definitely going back into the mine. But first things first, let's go ahead and finish this. We can get some books, bookcases. Well, just books, really, from the small, uh, from the town here. What's in there? A whole lot of nothing in that one. There's some bookcase, bookcases for us. Hey, what's up, villager, my friend? I'm just here to take your books. Just don't mind me. Just for your books. Now we know there's some more. I wish there was actually some in these stalls, but there's not. This doesn't look like there is. You know what? We're gonna take these. Because these chests are gonna come in handy for making more of those uh, storage drawers. But yeah, we'll take them. And why am I not carrying anymore? Oh, they can only stack to five in the mod pack. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Well, our inventory is still pretty full, so let's go ahead and head back here and drop some stuff off at our house. <clears throat> let's make some room in our inventory because we got too much stuff. So really, let's go ahead and take these. This one was almost empty. Let's just throw a whole lot of this stuff up here. Nope, nope, I want to keep that on me. And, okay. We can throw some more in here. Take those out, okay. So as we were, let's get back to getting those chests. I don't know why we can only carry four or five per stack. That seems a bit small to me. But it's okay, we'll take them. There's those ones and there's that back there. So let's move that piston out of the way. Um, I thought we had another one in here. I guess not. I'll take the piston too. Might as well. Alright, we know there's some bookcases up there. What do we have inside of here? Lots of crafting tables. More pistons. Furnaces. Oh, and there is a chest up there. Okay. So we'll take those. Yep, we got a good. Oh, we have chests and trap chests. That's what it was. They were trap chests. That explains it. Nothing inside there. No sugar cane either. Hey, bookcases. We'll take those, please. And thank you. Anything in the furnace? There's some charcoal. We might come back for the charcoal later, but we'll leave it there for now. There's... Aha! Uh -huh. Like, wait a minute, this looks a little bit higher. That's why it looked higher. There was actually more stuff in there. Okay, nothing down here. Well, anything in the furnace. More charcoal. Alright. Uh, 
course, we'll take the chest. But my friend. Yep, okay, nothing else of interest there. Now, what's on the downstairs of that other one? Where's the door? There's the door. And a furnace, and nothing else. Okay. So now, where was that windmill at? There's the... Yeah, that's the windmill. Anything in the windmill that we want to scavenge for ourselves? Let's take a look. Just all the furnaces down here. And more chests. Okay, we'll scavenge those. That one's taking a while to break. Hmm. Because the chests are going to be needed for the storage drawers. Alright, now it's upstairs. Workbenches, not a concern there. Bookcases. Again, we'll be glad to take the books. We need 15 of them. We need 15 bookcases. And more chests. Definitely going to take that. Up oh, and there we go, falling. <laughs> hey, let's not fall all the way down, please. Okay. Ooh, glowstone. You know, I think we needed the glowstone for something. In order to make one of the upgrades for the furnace. We needed glowstone and we needed... Quartz, I think. All right, uh, where's the door out of here? No door out of here on this floor. All right, finally take the door out on this floor. Except this isn't a door up. It's just a walk around. Okay, there we go. Let's get back to our house so we can give Grib some sleep here before we start getting attacked. There we go. Okay, now what do we got here? We can throw the rest of that dust in there. And real quick, let's take a look at the furnace. So we got the glowstone, we don't have the quartz. Because I don't think we do. And well, that's marble. No, nope, we don't have the quartz for it. Okay. Let's try and throw some of this stuff in the chest. I want to hold on to the oak wood there. Lots of iron hose again. Don't need that stuff. Yeah, we can throw the glowstone in there and the melons in there. And the pistons. Okay, well, give me some more. Give me another stack of wood. And let's make ourselves some more bookcases. We're going to need more, even more wood than that. Well, that's an additional 10. We already had 8 over there, so that's going to be our 15. So now let's see if we can get all 15 set up here in a way that makes this work without covering the windows. I'm not sure about the corners here, but let's see. Where are we at? Oh, we do have level 30 in chance. All right. Well, that's good to see, but we need the Lapis Lazuli to go along with it. And we don't have any right now. But we're probably going to have to go back down into the mine here. But we said we're going to find out what we can do with copper. So let's take a look. What can we do with copper? 
Oh, that's right. The only thing we can do with copper is make the roof stuff. It's all copper roofing. Okay, well, that's disappointing. I forgot all about that. <clears throat> all right, so let's get some of this stuff put away. I don't think we need the shears on us. We got an extra sword. We now have another shovel. We don't have any more picks, so let's make... Two, three. Three more picks. Let's make three more picks. Oh, we'll just go like that. And like so. Gives us the three picks. One, two, three. And we're going to need some more torches while we're at it here. And we got to put that, that apple away somewhere. And I forgot, in this pack, the crafting table holds on to the things you have in there. So let me actually take those 30, and let's make those into more sticks. Any extras? I don't think so. Nope, doesn't look like it. No extras there. Okay, so we got the picks. We got... Coal. Actually, I don't want that one. I want... No, 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 that's right. We'll take that one. And we're going to use half of those right now to make some more torches. <clears throat> but now we got a good supply of them. We only got the three arrows. We don't have everything to make more arrows, do we? We need feathers. And I don't think we have any feathers. Nope, we don't. We do have some sugarcane, though. We don't need the paper anymore. We got the books. So no feathers to make arrows with. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and make ourselves a bit of a pen. Let's get some of these. Yep, that should be enough. Let's get ourselves two oak fences. Good. And we're going to come on this side now. Sorry, Sunflower, you're just in the way. Let's take uh, that one. I'm gonna do this here. We gotta take uh, that one. Didn't want to put that one there to begin with. All right. And so fence line and fence line. Good. It's similar to that one. I thought I saw another cow grazing over there. Let me actually go grab some wheat and let me see if I can bring him back with us. If that cow is still over here somewhere. Saw him over here earlier. Nope, I don't see him now. Poor Bessie the cow got got lost. Got horses. Don't have no cow. Don't know where the cow disappeared off to. But all right, let's see if we can make these other two that we got. See if we can make them make a baby. Oh, make a baby. I guess they're not making a baby. I don't know how to get them to do to, to do that. 
Don't know how to do that in this mod pack, but let's see if we can go find ourselves some chickens to bring back. Chickens or more cows or something. Now we saw some chickens off this way last time. So, oh, there's that cow. Now we find the cow. Hey, Mr. Moo. Oh, he's a bull, too. Come on with me. I got a spot for you. Just follow me. You'll t I'm already taking you to your new home. Unfortunately, there's only one female cow at the moment. Come on, buddy. Come on down. Oh, you see that? There's even leaves falling in this pack. That's beautiful. All right, come on in. There's enough room for everybody, I swear. Hey, 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 hey. Get back in there. Oh, come on now. Everybody get in here. I'm trying to get y'all in there. Stop trying to burst yourselves out. Come on. Okay, we're just going to have to push them. So you all stay in there. And you... Get on in there. Oh, come on now. Play nice with me. There you go. Get in there. Get in. Get in. Get in. There we go. Got him. All right. Cool. And the sun is going down, so we're going to go find the chickens later. We're going to have to get some sleep pretty soon here. Let's empty this out real quick. You know what? While we're at it, let's take a look at the backpack again. What do we need here? Four pieces of leather, four pieces of wool. We have the leather, I believe we did. We do, we don't have the wool. Okay. Well, we know where we can get some wool. Well, let's go ahead and get ourselves a little... Let's take some of this wool that's over here. We can go ahead and make ourselves that backpack. I'm sorry, your little stalls and stands look awfully nice, but I gotta take some of this. And I'll actually make two of them. You get that one? Five. Nope. Okay, there it is. Six, seven, and eight. <clears throat> now we technically need one more piece of leather. But we do have that extra bowl there. So let's see if we can get some leather from that extra bowl. Come here, buddy. There we go. Leather? Yep, we got the leather. All right, cool. 
See, even the doors just actually swinging amaze me here. I love it. The leather, okay. And two chests. Two regular chests. And that's gonna give us two of those backpacks. Now we can upgrade it to iron backpack with emphasis on storage. With an additional chest. And what is that? Seven iron ingots. Okay. Give me two more chests. Give me that sunflower. Give me some iron. We go backpack. Chest. And then iron. And take that one and let's go ahead and make ourselves another one. So good. Now I need to check something here. I can come over here, open this up, and I got a backpack. If I put that raw beef in there, if I check the air backpack, it does not have the raw beef there. Good. So now. So how do we get to the upgrades for the backpacks? He says zero seven upgrade points used. So how do we use? Uh, let's see, it locks everybody out. Don't need to worry about that. Adds an additional upgrade point. Don't need to worry. Keeps backpacks that have been dropped from despawning. Okay, that's what we're interested in. So paper, string, and a stick for the blank upgrade. I want this upgrade though. So, okay, well, I don't know then. All right, what do you need for a gold backpack? Iron backpack and a chest, and then a bunch of gold. That sounds good. Because they just, the backpacks just keep getting better and better. They keep more and more inventory can be stored in them the higher up you go. So let's go ahead and do that. That way we can carry a whole bunch of stuff around with us. There's that one, and then there's that one. Okay. So, yep, there we go. More storage space. That is the equivalent of a double chest. So that's gonna be wonderful. And right now I'm just trying to put stuff away. That's right, we're gonna go to see if we can't find ourselves a chicken. Or two, preferably two. So horsey. Right there, I thought my horsey ran away. All right, come on, buddy, we're off. At least we're gonna try to be off. I thought you could jump too, but I'm not holding it long enough. There we go. Well, there's an egg, a pigeon egg. Chance of spawning 10%, okay. Now, we saw them over this way, I believe. And, and wow, something way up there. Okay, so there is a wine dot rooster. Okay, buddy. Are you attracted to seeds? Will you follow me? It looks like you're following me. Well, that's good. House is over that way. Come on, buddy. 
try to get you back home and we'll see if we can't get you a friend where are we at I need to go up this way yep up this way okay oh come on buddy I got seeds lovely delicious seeds You know you want them. Gotta wait for him to catch interest again. You, never, when you get too far away, they'll lose interest. When you take them out of your hand, they'll lose interest. It takes us a little bit longer for them to regain interest in what you have to offer. At the moment, we're just trying to bring him back. To our house over there and now that I'm doing this I think it's gonna be best to leave the pony here the horse at home when we do this cuz I'm a little bit too fast with the horse and that was a cow so let me hop off here and walk on over there you go come on in buddy here you go all right so horse we gotta get you locked Oop, got off you by accident finger twitch so you come on back in here Now let's go see if we can't find ourselves a wine dot hen. Get that back there. Now we saw them around the same area. We're gonna try to lure him back, and that rooster did drop a feather, but it may have despawned by now. Nope, there it is. Perfect. We want that feather. We need that feather. I just heard a chicken. This should sound like a chicken. Thought I heard one. Thought I heard the clucking. Well, I guess maybe not. Now right, well, more horses. Let's see, now there's that dangerous place that we started out at the last time. Let's not go back there again, that was horrible. Well, I don't think we're gonna find any hens now. I don't see any around. All right, but the sun's going down, so let's try to hurry up and get back to home. And then we'll go through and do that again. I could actually hit that. What was that? Is that a parrot? I don't know what that is. <laughs> it was something. I walked down and smacked it by accident, so... I didn't actually think I'd be able to hurt it. Apparently I was wrong. Let's see what's around this area here, cuz around here I thought I heard a chicken cluck. But I guess not. Oh yeah, well, there's another one of those birds. Let's see if we can see what it is. It was a pigeon. Okay. We don't have time to be messing with pigeons right now. It's nighttime, and only one thing that happens at nighttime. That's right, a whole lot of pain. That's what happens at nighttime. From the skeletons, from the zombies, from the creepers, from everything else, so we need to get to bed. 
Just like so. Alright, so let's see. We can't find a hen off this way somewhere. What are we getting? Pokeweed berries. Well, that's interesting. And then we got a horse nettle fruit. Horse nettle, maybe that's what was hurting our horse one time. Giant ragweed, okay. All right, enough, enough playing with the plants. Yellow what? Foom wart. <clears throat> it sounds like a bee buzzing around. Oh yeah, we got Pam's harvest, so that should be a beehive up there. And that it is. All right. Oh, another cow? Are you another bull? You're another bull. You look like you're a bull, too. Oh, it's a hummingbird. Okay. Alright. We're looking for... Hey, look, another bull. What? Wild berries. I believe we can take these back and plant them, right? Wild, yep, wild berry bush. Cool. We'll do that. Well, that'll help a bit too, because wild berry, uh, not much saturation in the wild berries. Here we have huckleberries, which we weren't able to pick up. At least I can set and tell. So let's open up this and let's throw a whole bunch of this stuff in there. Oh no, there's a huckleberry. Huckleberry is a bit better than that wild berry, that's for certain. So let me take these. Except it didn't look like I was picking those up. I'm not. Axe does not pick those up. Huckleberry bushling, okay. So that is a pickaxe for those. Now that's interesting to know. We're gonna live on berries for a little bit till we can find this hen. I know I've seen him around before, I just gotta find him. Hey, another pigeon egg. Two pigeon eggs, all right. Okay, that is a leghorn hen. Well, come with me. Let's go on home. Maybe, just maybe, the leghorn hen will be able to go with the wine dot rooster. Although I thought I saw a wine dot and before okay what happened to you come on look I got seeds come on seeds there you go don't know what it is in this mod pack things tend to lose interest sometimes just out of nowhere All right, come with me. We're almost there. All right, there we go. Come on in. Now, if I feed both of you, 
that. Stay in there. No, oh, there's seeds right there on the floor. Can I put seeds down? Oh, I can put seeds right down for him. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe they'll end up doing it all on their own. So can I put hay down? No, I can't put hay down there, but I know I do have a hay block in here. Or hay bale. We'll go ahead and throw that in there for him. Never know, they might be able to use it. See if I can't reach. Nope. There we go. Alright, so you two are there. Let's see if we can't find another hen of some sort. Preferably a wine dot. Stop it. Ah, always entertaining. All right, more sugar cane. That's a good thing to see. I'll definitely take that. So that can be used more. And... Did I get anything from the nest? Nope. Guess not. Makes me wonder if you can get eggs from nests. A whole lot of exploring in this mod pack. Things we gotta take a look at that we've never done before. But we're enjoying it. Now that wood is rounded, right? Yep, that's rounded. That's the oak. <clears throat> I know there is wood in this pack that is not rounded. But we haven't really seen any of those yet. <clears throat> oh yeah, <clears throat> I'm trying to keep the... Wow, a whole lot of cardinals. Can I feed you... Seeds? Looks like it. I put them down, will you do anything? No? Alright. Well, we'll just let them do whatever. I'm trying to keep the town on my right hand side so that I know where it's at. I can easily find our way back. I haven't gone and made a map or anything yet. But right now we're just kind of searching around. See what's out there. I see more cows, I see more horses. And... Are you a bull? No, you look like you might be an actual cow. Let's see if we can't get you back. Although I'm gonna have to... Nope, we're... we got a hen. A leghorn rooster. Come on, rooster. We have a leghorn hen. Now we have a leghorn rooster. Let's see if we can't get you back and... Making some baby chickens. Let's fucking stop falling because I don't know where I'm going. Come on, buddy. I wonder if I may have to make a chicken coop or a nest in order for them to do this. That might be a thing. We're going to have to check on that. Let's 
Still with me? You're still with me. <coughs> Come on in. All right, let's just... Let's just give you all a whole bunch of seeds. See if you can do something. All right, let's take a look here. Let's go in here and let's see if there is a chicken roost or a nest or something. Uh, let's hear cooked chicken, cooked chicken food. Ground chicken, okay. All right, let's look for coop. Nope. We know that there are nests. A nest from Animania. A block of leaves. Block of wool and a stick. Okay. We'll try some of that in a minute here. Now let's get rid of this nighttime. And so, okay, let's get some of this stuff put away. All right, that's good enough. So a block of wool, which means we're heading back to the town there. Oh wait, I do need my shears for the leaves. Apparently we need some leaves to do this with. Yeah, look, there's some leaves right there. Oh, there's a couple. And we'll grab just a couple more. Okay. So now let's... <laughs> the catapult flower. Gets me every time. right around here right around the corner all right let's get that wall just so we can go make that nest and see if that won't enable them to make some more chickens because they're both from the animania mod so i'm guessing that'll help a bit If not, we'll just have to go look more at that mod pack. In the meantime, uh, what's here? I think it was wool. Oh, other way around. Like that, like that, and like that. There we go. So now we have four of those nests. Let's put some of those down. I'm happy for the feather. Thanks for that. So... chickens there okay now let's see if we give you some seeds and you and you and you no nothing all right let's take a look inside this mod pack stuff so it was at Animania, right? A N I Mania. All right, at Animania. <clears throat> Let's see. That's a wheel covered wagon. Oh, that's right. I was really curious on that. Let's see if we can't hook up a uh, horse to that and see if we can pull it. Okay, so. Yeah, that's an omelet. Truffle soup, chocolate truffle. I'm looking for something. Look, sheep milk, goat milk, Jersey milk, Bresnian milk. Well, there's the nest. Cheese mold, salt lake, mud. All right, so I guess that's it. So, 
Hopefully that's all that they need to start making some, uh... Start making some chicken... chicken babies. And like I said, I like the fact of having feathers, so now I can make some, uh, arrows. In the meantime, we have these berry bushes. Wild berries here. And we have the huckleberries here. Let's go ahead and let's get some of these planted out of here. We have four huckleberries and we have six wild berries. We can use these as a bit of a hedge line. Just like so. That'd be nice. Having a nice little hedge line there and a couple berry bushes over the yonder. Alright, what else do we have in our pack itself? We got lots of stuff here. So we're going to use the feathers to make some arrows right now. Because we need those. So I got to spend some time getting this organized, that's for certain. So where... Okay, there's the flint. Let's get some arrows made. We have more than just the three we got. At least we got something now. Well, that's good. Well, I think we've done quite a bit this episode. We've gone down to the mines, found ourselves a couple of diamonds, got our enchanting table set up. We need to go back down there to get some lapis. Because we need that. That's what we're going to do next time. So we're going to go back down to the mines and try and find some lapis. We got some uh, backpacks now to help us along the way. I'll make things a bit easier for carrying things back up. Got a load of torches. Got extra pork chops and whatnot. So we're going to be all good to go back down there. Thankfully, I got some more sticks here. Uh, let's see, we don't need the flint anymore. We don't need the shears anymore. We'll keep the shovel since that one's almost gone. All right, and that's going to actually wrap it up for this episode. Hope everybody out there is having a wonderful day and a good night. I know I am. Especially after playing this for a little bit. This, this mod pack just makes things look beautiful. I enjoy it a lot. So, all right, until next time, I'm going to make some storage drawers, put them over here, and we'll continue in the next episode. Till then, take care, be well, and we will see you shortly.